Hey there YouTube, it's Math Bowler with my first of two videos for my August 2020 TTM recap. This video is going to show my items that are not trading cards, not index cards. So these are more premium type items. But I wanted to give you a quick rundown here that in the month of August 2020, I received back 105 autographs. I really need to consider doing this once a week instead of once every month. Feel free to let me know in the comments below if you think I should be doing this once a week. Like do TTM Wednesdays or TTM Saturday or something like that. I don't want to do Tuesdays or Thursdays. I want to pick a Wednesday or Saturday. That's what works best for me. But um, So let me know what you think about that. I have 105 autographs to show you between this video and next video. But... And I received them from 37 different people. I was very active sending out requests in July and the very beginning of August. So I'm going to show you the nicer items right now, which are just going to be four of the 37 individuals here. And they're all baseball players. I'm going to go in the order with which I received them. Please do not ask me for addresses. I use SCN and occasionally SCF. I have links for the descriptions to sportscollectors.net and sports cards forums in the description below. So first up, this took 36 days and I actually gave a bigger donation than what he was asking. Got Rafael Palmero. I really wanted this autograph. He was charging 30 bucks, then he dropped it to 20, so I thought I'm going to send him 40 and ask for the two big inscriptions. At least to me they're two big inscriptions. 569 home runs, 3,020 hits. So I actually paid more than probably what I needed to, but I really wanted this one, and uh, I was holding my breath, and it came out well. That actually is awesome. I'm so glad he gave me the inscriptions. I didn't want just his autograph, considering, you know, well, just his character. We'll leave it at that, but uh, those stats are amazing. So that was a great first edition. I got Rafael Palmero on a baseball and it came out really well. Next up, I actually, I said I was going to show you four. Um, I could have shown you six, but I gave some of them to my buddy here. I sent a letter of a, a request to Rob McCowiak, who had a great game back in 2004. This took 10 days. I sent a letter of request to him asking, could I send you you know, two photos, uh, one for my friend, one for my buddy, how much would you charge? And he said, send the photos and I'll sign them. So I went ahead and sent him no donation, but I told him to please keep the blue Sharpie. I figured that was more than fair. And this was actually from a calendar page. You can see the little hole up there. That was it by design, but this was such a memorable game. If you are a Pirates fan, like, you don't forget this if you were around. I mean, the Pirates had this double header. His son was born that day, and, you know, in the first game, he hit a walk-off Grand Slam, and in the second game, in the, it would have been the bottom of the ninth, hit a game-tying home run in the uh, bottom of the ninth. It was, yeah, so... I did not ask for any inscriptions. I was just happy to get this. So there's Rob McCobiak. And I got another one and gave it to my buddy. And speaking of my buddy, he gave me this 7-Eleven Pepsi type photo. I'm going to show you the back first. I sent this to Mike Easler. And I also sent two trading cards with a $5 donation. He signed the photo and one trading card. I'll show you the trading card in my second video. So... And he, and, he, and he added his Hitman inscription. We got Mike Easler. I'm not going to bother even trying to get any of the other people to sign it, as that is the person I'm interested in. I'm a Pirates fan, and he was a good contributor to the team, part of the 1979 World Series. That came out really, really nice. One more to show you. Oh, and the Mike Easler took 15 days. And this last one took 20 days. $10 donation. I actually sent two of these. Um, these are also photos from a calendar. And I sent a $10 donation. He spent 60 years with the team. I've told this story before. I'm going to go ahead and say it again. But we got Steve Blass with the best wishes inscription. Really appreciate this guy. 
him and Kent to call the others two older players that I've grown up listening to and just kind of really enjoy hearing all their stories. And yeah, I, I really, really am glad to hear this. I'm going to tell you a little story here, but you know, feel free to like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. I do TTMs once every month. Uh, but I usually do two videos at the beginning of the month for TTMs. I think I should do TTMs once a week because I do so much. But uh, feel free to do all that good stuff. But I want to tell you this little story, so feel free to stick around. Steve Blass worked 60 years for the Pirates. And um, Kevin Newman hit a walk-off home run So for Steve Blass's final televised broadcast. So on the very, very last day of the Pirates season, on a Sunday I believe it was, uh, before the game even started, you know, him and Steve Blass and Kevin Newman came out and had a little moment. And then Steve Blass just walked right down the third baseline signing autographs. And he was on the cover of the game program, so I had the game program. That made sense to get him to sign that. And so he signed mine, moved to the next guy. And just as he, he left me, I felt my phone ring, or buzz. I felt the text buzz. And I picked up my phone. And I looked at the screen, and my buddy, the one who sent me, who hooked me up with this photo, sent me a text saying they just fired Clint Hurdle, who was the Pirates manager, right before the last game of the season. Keep that in mind. So I said out loud, oh my gosh, they fired Clint Hurdle. Steve Blass, who is right beside me signing the next guy's program, looks right at me with this surprised look. He's like, that can't be. I just saw him. That's what he said. He's like, that can't be. I just saw him. And all I could say was, I hope not. I really like him. He's a good guy. And, yeah, that the Pirates firing Clint Hurdle took away so much attention from this very appropriate moment here. Like, this moment should have been amazing, and that actually took away a lot of the uh, moment there. So, yeah, I broke the news to Steve Lass on his last day that they... You know, fired the manager almost out of nowhere, and that's the took a lot of attention away from this great, great guy who spent so many years with this club. So uh, that's my Steve Blast story. So this was my first of two TTM videos from all my August 2020 returns. My next video, which will be on the weekend, because I post once every Wednesday and once on the weekends, usually Saturday, and. Yeah, my next video is going to have a whole bunch of trading cards and index cards. So I always appreciate if you like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Take care, everybody.